It's now time for the morning show on XL7 TV. Devin, welcome to the morning show on XL7 TV. I think I'm, I did get you a little mm, bit. Nah, I did it on purpose. Oh, did you? Yes. Okay. Always, always messing with each other. I'm David Stroud here with Scooter Scott Callies. See? Yeah, your mic's turned the right way. It's just you were quiet, so I'm bringing oh, you up. Oh, hi. I, I, you testing. don't have to leave it. We're live, Testing, and one, two, three. <laughs> you were a little quiet, so I was just trying to fix it. Okay. Can you hear me now? No, I, can, I got you now. Well, very good. I got you now. I just had to bring you up a little bit. That's all. <laughs> How are you this morning? I'm doing good. I can't complain. Yeah, did you have a good hump day? I did. Mm -hmm. I did. Wasn't, wasn't too bad. I worked. Did a little workout with some of the wrestling girls and excellent. Had a good day. Very nice. Had a had breakfast for dinner last night. I love that. I we don't hardly get a chance to cook breakfast together, so mm -hmm. I went ahead and went all out. Did the potatoes and the and the biscuit and gravy mm -hmm. and sausage oh, and scrambled yeah. eggs and made a mess out of it. Nice. Well, that's good. I had Bobby Sue's yesterday morning for breakfast. Hey, see? Yeah. Yeah, I was up early, went ahead and headed out, but then I had you know the dreaded tooth appointment. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, I had to have a crown put on. I know you love that. You could have really went, loves you that. Could, you could have went to Yaleville. I, I could have had that done, but you know, I already had the appointment set for like yeah. three months. Use my yeah, that's okay. I I just hate the my teeth being. I don't. I had a. Go ahead. I don't mind them doing what they're doing while they're doing it. You know, it's the after effect that your face feels all swelled up, and then you better pop a couple of ibuprofen because you start the the numbness starts to go away, and then you feel yeah. the pain. So, but I don't. I don't mind when they're in there doing. You know, do what you got to do. But it's afterwards where you just you can't really drink anything. You try to eat. I was eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Ate two of them because. You know, you don't want anything crunchy, you don't want anything yep. sticky, and uh, it just, I hate that feeling, and it lasts for, what, like three hours afterwards, and you just, you no, know, you can't tell that you're all numbed and, and puffed up, but you sure can feel it. You can if you try to drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all just drill. kind of pours you know, out. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> no, I had a, a while back, I had a, broke one of my tooth, my teeth, one of my tooth, um, and uh, thinking they, they would just go out to go out and drill it. And he went in and, and did what he could. And he said, the problem is I fractured little pieces down up in, in the lines that go down. Yeah. So that's a special kind of root. That's not a normal root canal, apparently. Oh he had to send gosh. me off. And for an hour and a half, they sit there and drill down each line going to that tooth. And you just sit there. and It was, it was miserable. Wow. For me, that was miserable. Yeah. Definitely. Hour and a half, your mouth open, and yeah, it was yeah. ugly. Luckily, I have never had a root canal. I just said yank it. <laughs> Apparently, there's root canals, and then there's this one Specialized where they, root when canals. they have to go down through the lines that are going to it. Because apparently I had fragments that went down into that ner main nerve down there, and they had to remove all them. Way to go, Scooter. Oh, if you're going to do it, do it you right. Do it I right. Mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, have by all be, means. Have to be sent off to a specialist <laughs> where they spend hours <laughs> going down some imaginary lines. Oh, yeah, I think they're just racking up the cost. They but. are. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. Start off with the Roller Funeral Home. With all our respect, they have 29 in the state, one in Memphis, Tennessee. We sure do appreciate them in our time of need when we lose a loved one. And with that, we'll pause now for the morning prayer. Dear Lord, please watch over the whole world, our country too, uh, as we go through this bitter divisiveness. Um, please touch everybody on their shoulder, help them bring them together, and. Please watch over our children, our first responders, and our military, those that put themselves in harm's way for our freedoms. In this I pray, amen. Amen. Roller Funeral Home, with all our respect, you can give them a call at 870-425-2161 and ask them about pre-need service. It's always good to have a plan in place for when it's your time. Take care of your family, right? Yeah, Bob had a, a customer that 
told him, or a person that watches our show, mm -hmm. that told him that we need to practice what we preach. Oh. <laughs> Hey, at least we admit it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I admit it. I've, I've, I've got a plan, but I have not got discussed it, all set. it with. Yeah. yeah. There you so, go. So one day, one day, we keep reminding you. We keep reminding ourselves. You know, and say there you go. You procrastinate things, but we probably should, uh, if at all, because you know, like uh, we've talked about before, my father did it 30 years ago, and think he locked in the prices of 30 years ago. Yeah, that's big difference. Yeah, it was all paid for. So you gotta got to take that in consideration that 30 years from now could be a whole lot different. So we do need to practice what we preach. We hope you do too. And um, go see Roller Funeral Home and set up a plan. You can do a pre-need service if you want to do a payment plan. They can set you up on a payment plan. And that way when your time comes, your family's got the plan in place and Roller will take over. And like you say, so they can pr properly grieve over you and not have to worry about the little things. And it's uh, it's something that I was uh, happy you know, my dad had set up so long ago. You didn't because have to mess with it? We didn't even have to talk to him. <clears throat> I mean, the the funeral home took him in and knew exactly what to do. And uh, he, was, uh, he passed away here in Mountain Home, but uh, his burial place was in Mena, Arkansas. It was already set up. So they had him, uh, they had him taken down there, and when we got to the funeral home, they had everything in place: the casket, uh, where it was going to take place, the funeral, you know, the um, visitation, and uh, the building already chosen, the plot already chosen, everything. We just, they just told us where to go and where, you know, what to do. So it was all set up. There you go. Yep. Let's take a little break now for Bob and Linda Zador of the Z Team. Oh, honey, we've had such a wonderful vacation here in the Ozarks. I really hate to go home. I know. The lakes, the rivers, they've all been great for fishing. Oh, and the boating and the swimming. And the people are so nice in the stores and restaurants. Let's call an agent and see if we can make Mountain Home our new home. Call the Z Team, 870-405-0793. Century 21 Lee Mac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East Mountain Home. 870-405-0793. Hello, Z Team? Seven. Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. And you know what we forgot to do? Morning, Gigi. Morning, Gigi. Morning, Gigi. How are you this morning? I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Most definitely. I'm, I'm glad you reminded me. Yes. My mind was all over the place as we added all the other things last minute and mm -hmm. stuff like that, some videos that we're going to play and stuff. So. It's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. Good morning, Gigi. Good I morning. hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Most definitely. It's going to be hot today. It is. As you'll see here in a little bit. Be Ooh. careful. Yes. The Z Team, Bob and Linda Zador, they can help you buy, buy when you, <laughs> they can help you when you're buying or selling a home. They're a senior real estate specialist if you're looking to downsize something a little bit more manageable. But uh, they brought to you every day is a. <laughs> I'm just getting a mess. He is this so all. tired. I'm so messed up today. It's, it's one of them mornings. Uh, okay. All right. Take deep breath. Deep breath. Let's Start take over. a look at the White River brought to you by the Z Team. <laughs> How about that? Oh, beautiful Absolutely morning. amazing. Yes. That is Cotter, Arkansas, the horseshoe bend of the White River. Look at the smoke. On the water. Beautiful view brought to you in way of their website at retiredarkansas.net where you can find their listings, the MLS listings, and a plethora of info. Look at that, of information about the Ozarks, like places like this. Beautiful Cotter, Arkansas, that's where they live and uh, they have these cameras set up on the back of their house that you can go to their website 24 hours a day in way of uh, YouTube and it's amazing the views that you'll see here in the Ozarks. There's the train station and there's a train there today. Look at that. <coughs> that one's got a long old train on. Look at that. What, mm -hmm. Are they empty? They look empty. I don't think they, they're hauling anything yeah, right they now. Maybe. maybe they have a few things. They're usually dropping off for... Um, a Tyson plant, aren't they? I'm sure they Isn't do a lot one, with that. That's one of yeah. the spots that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, one of the things that gets in trucks come and pick it up, and, uh, you know, they go out there to Yellville. So very cool camera views brought to you every day by the Z Team, Bob and Linda Zadora. Like I was saying earlier, they are senior real estate specialists. If you're looking to downsize your home to something a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable, you know, kids have moved away, and you need to, uh, uh, a little bit more time to do other things than clean the big house that's empty, right? 
Yes. Yeah, they can help either direction. I mean, they pride themselves on their customer service, and you can tell by their ratings. I mean, their numbers are Through are unreal when it comes to customer service, and they want you to be happy. They want you to know every step, every detail you're going, everything that's going on through your home in the sale of your home or the purchase of your home, and they'll be happy to walk you through everything. And Just got to give them a call. That's it. That's it. Give them a call, 870-405-0793. Realtors you'd recommend to a friend. That's right. Let's take a look at the weather brought to you by the Z-Team, Bob and Linda Zadora. As you can see across the nation, you've got some heavy activity in the northeast. You've got some in Wisconsin, crossing North Dakota, a little bit of Montana and Wyoming. Uh, it looks like just sporadic showers or even just cloud cover in the areas of uh, uh, Tennessee. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. It looks the word later on in the day where it's not showing anything. It's going to be hot. It's so, going to be you hot. See sporadic, uh, sporadic little spots here and there across Kansas and Tennessee, but nothing in our neck of the woods really to speak of. You see a little something right here. Probably what in the Salem area. We'll go a little bit closer. But it looks like we're going to be all right for any shower activity today. National weather warnings. Please hold. Please. Your computer is moving slow today. It's going really slow today. Watches and warnings today. I saw it earlier, and there's a heat advisory pretty much from Baxter County all the way to northeast, or on the east side of um, Arkansas. So it's going to be hot today. That Let's page is not wanting to open. No. So we'll just move on to the seven-day forecast. And that's what I was talking about, the heat advisory today. Hot, high of 98. Tonight, mostly clear, low of 74. Friday, again, it's going to be hot, high of 97. Friday night, mostly clear, low of 74. Saturday, hot, high of 98. You know, if it would just dropped to 96, it would just be sunny. There you go. <laughs> Saturday night, mostly clear, low of 74. <clears throat> Sunday hot, high of 97. Sunday night, mostly clear, low of 71. Monday again, high of 97. Oh, it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Pollen count today, tree pollen is low. Grass pollen is moderate and ragweed is low. Norfolk Lake water levels at 557.01. It's five feet above full pool. They are shut down. Bolsos Lake water level 659.26. Level is... 0.26 feet above full pool and they're actually generating three they were at two and turned on one more so water flowing pretty decently on the white river today all right and that's a look at your weather brought to you by bob and linda zadora of the z team we'll take a break and we'll come, come back, back. With community news brought to you by mower warehouse of mountain home arkansas Hi, Brett, Fritz, and Paisley here at Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road. Mower Warehouse has the largest selection of Ferris zero-turn mowers in stock. Zero percent financing available. Mower Warehouse also services all brands of mowers. We offer free delivery. Come see us for all your mower needs. That's Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road, where your business is appreciated. Going on now through June, up to $500 off select mowers at Mower Warehouse. With no money down and payments as low as $89 per month. Have you ever noticed? <laughs> Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV as he counts down five to one. And then, wait, 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 let's pause. In and out. <laughs> Welcome back to the morning show. This part of Community News is brought to you by Mower Warehouse of Mountain Home, Arkansas. For all of your outdoor, <clears throat> get that yard cleaned up. It's, things you don't really want to do but it's you have not to something needs. i want to do <laughs> right but if for you know new mowers maybe even a pre-owned they do take trades uh for repairs and parts you can go by and see them at 17 full bike drive it's right there on buzzard roost road just down from the bypass and you ought to see the inside of their building all the parts you would need if they don't think you know have it they could order it for you but uh, most likely you'll find it there you need to have your blade sharpened on your mower they can do that sometimes like when scooter went in there he needed a certain part and they just made it for him and yeah machine. they were able to make the part yeah. and get it all get me taken care of get me to where i can get the buggy up and going and i yep. did and i appreciate everything they do they've always taken care of me very good every time i've went over there you get personalized service there at mower warehouse and that's what's nice about you know your local small business yeah you know i had a 
uh, guy I was talking to the other day, and he was telling me that he bought his mower from them for that exact reason, mm-hmm. is he can get the parts. Um, if he's got to get something done, they do their best to get them in and out, and yep. just they just seem to take care of you. Very good. Now, don't forget, I do have to mention that the rebates yes. are still going on just to the end of this month. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you ain't got much time left, but if you're needing to buy a mower, They've got 0% financing. they got no money down financing, but they got the rebates going on right now, and some of them are quite large. Most mowers are like $500 off. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a big chunk of money, so if you're needing to buy a mower, they can get you in one today. Very good. Go by and see them there just off Buzzard Roost Road at 17 <coughs> Full by Drive. You can go to mountainhomemowerrepair.com. Just kind of check out what they've got on their website. Give them a call at 870-701-5222. All right. This week in community news, this weekend, this Saturday, L.C. Salmon's Youth Center and ASC Warranty presents Movie in the Park. That'll be at Hickory Park this uh, Saturday, the 29th, and it'll start at dark. Free admission, free popcorn. They might even have free hot dogs. You're not guaranteed, but I think they probably will. And uh, they'll be uh, viewing Super Mario Brothers movie, so that'll be really cool. Awesome. Yeah. The Mountain Home Fire Department versus Mountain Home police department charity rag ball game that's next month august 12th at 6 p.m you don't want to miss that that's going to be real fun it's at the mountain home high school field i've already picked the police department i had to fire department my buddy's tommy felicia he's on the fire department he's very athletic he played football quarterback you're gonna get smoked no it's gonna happen no you got free game festivities you got a bounce houses for the kids the nick reed band will be playing all money goes towards two local charities that's what's great about mountain home right in our area it's they're always doing something for charities or the food bank or you know yep. any any nonprofits that are around here we get so much community support and look you've got the mountain home fire department police department doing their part and having a little fun too while they're doing it right they are they yeah. are it's it's all about fun i mean you see them out there playing that game and and yeah they all want to win don't oh, get me wrong it's yeah there's it's, yeah. there's respect on the line at this point yeah but it's it's about having fun and having a good time definitely and the other day we had the hospice of the ozarks in and they will have a night of of hope gala and fundraiser that'll be at the shed august 5th at 5 30 p.m and tickets are a hundred dollars but there's going to be so much cool things going on catering by mershon cakes and catering beer by raps baron brewing company wine by judicious spirits it'll be the, the roaring 20s it's going to be like a speakeasy you know we're going to have jazz music playing uh, that'll be by the drew Axley music and they'll have a silent auction you never know i mean people around here bring so much cool stuff to these silent auctions they do yeah you really it'll be a lot of fun out. though i mean for a 100 bucks and you get food entertainment dancing yeah it's just you, be you a can, good time you, the ladies can wear the fedoras the or wait what i'm getting that can that's the hat right anyway you know what you know how they do what i want lap flapper thank you there you go (laughs) that's ted from arkansas game and fish he'll be on soon uh but thank you i appreciate that so the fedora is the hat right yeah yeah and the flappers for the ladies (laughs) it's just really cool hey this is how we do online this is how we roll this is how we do okay (laughs) but check that out that's going to be really fun uh the pancake breakfast fundraiser this set Ninth, brought to you by American Legion Post number 52 at 7.30 to 11 a.m. They're located at 717 Market Street. All you can eat pancakes, biscuits, biscuits and gravy, sausage, coffee, orange juice, $8 per person, $4 for kids 5 through 12, free for kids 4 and under, free for World War II and Korean War veterans, free for military and LEO, AMT in uniform. Pack pancakes breakfast fundraiser there you go there you go that's a look at your community news we got it all out let's go ahead and take a break and uh, we're going to come back with and here we go ted zella fishlock Z- Z- ted z <laughs> arkansas game and fish commission zavishlock zavishlock <laughs> he will fix his name when he comes off we'll see him here in just a minute we'll be back <laughs> Have you
Have you ever noticed that every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detail services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, we hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1979. When you're out of town, make sure your pet is with someone who will love them as much as you do. At 201 Pet Salon and Resort, your pet is cared for just as they would be at home. 201 Pet Salon and Resort is the only all-sweet climate-controlled and air-filtered boarding facility in the area with private and spacious rooms to keep your pet relaxed. And with over three-quarters of an acre of fence play area, your pet will receive the proper exercise they deserve. 201 also offers professional grooming services. Your best friend is in good hands at 201 Pet Salon and Resort in Mountain Home. All you've ever wanted was a place to write your story. You hear it's not the right time to buy or sell a house, but really, the best time is when it's right for you. The real estate markets, they change, they go up, they go down. One thing that doesn't change is where you want to be in your life. The professionals you team up with will make your story happen. The Z Team are the professionals you need to hire for your next chapter. So call the Z Team at 870-405-0793, Century 21 Lemac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East, retiredtoarkansas.net. Are you looking for the best barbecue in two states? Holy smokes! Want the meatiest fall off the bone ribs? Holy smokes! The most tender and delicious pulled pork? Holy smokes! The tastiest brisket in the Ozarks? Holy smokes! Holy smokes barbecue and catering is the only place you need to go. Dine in, carry out, and the best food for your next catered event. Holy smokes! We're your mountain home for great barbecue cooking. Holy smokes! A higher calling for your taste buds. Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. We're visiting with Ted Z of Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. <laughs> okay, say your last name. Zavishlock. Zavishlock. Now, see, if you're reading that on the screen, would you have thought that? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> That's okay. Zavishlock. Yes, yeah. very good. Yeah. Well, it's good to have you on. It's been since... Um, February, right, Scooter? He was here back in February. Mm -hmm. And uh, back then we were talking about the prescribed burn. He is the... Uh, private land supervisor, uh, private lands biologist supervisor. I'm, I guess I'm the north private land supervisor. We have a we have a new, since probably since January, February, we, we actually created a new division. Uh, we have a chief now, and then we have a north supervisor and a south supervisor. So I'm the north supervisor here in Mountain Home, and then we have somebody down in Monticello who covers the south part of the state. So. Yeah, very good. So. So tell us what uh, what it is uh, you all do with private lands. You, I know you get uh, connected with people that uh, right. maybe need help with prescribed berms. But yeah, tell us all about that. So you know, private lands, our private lands program, our new, our new private lands division. Uh, it's a it, it's a division of biologists that only work on private lands, and so. You, know, you think of game and fish we have a lot of wildlife management areas national forest areas those are all public land and so we have a army of biologists that work on those but but you know uh you know it was identified early on that you know arkansas is 90 percent privately owned so if you're going to make an impact on wildlife populations uh you have to do something on that 90 percent yeah. even if you do a great job and we are doing a great job on the 10 percent but if you do a great job on the on that it's still just 10 percent so yeah. uh so you know so our goal is to you know work on that 90 percent we you know so basically we it's a free service that we offer we come out and visit with landowners uh you know of all sizes uh i think you'll see we're going to play a few videos here in a little bit, but uh, you know we have a guy that was uh, had 50 acres. We've had we work with people with 5,000 acres, so yeah. uh, you know various sizes, uh, even down to you know 
you know, I personally own about eight acres, and, and I've done a lot of habitat work on mine, and I've seen a, a huge uh, increase in wildlife. Personally, I got turkeys walking through my front front yard. I got, you know, <laughs> they like it there. They like it. Yeah, yeah I, you know, like I said, I did a prescribed fire. I uh, did some cedar removal. Uh, of course, you know, my neighbors when I first moved in probably thought I was crazy, but you know, <laughs> I, you know, I halfway knew what I was doing. So sure, <laughs> so, do this for a living. Right, so. I gotta do this for a living. So now they all want me to do their property. Yeah, exactly. and I'm like, I don't have time to do all y'all's property. So, <laughs> but but anyways. Um, you know, so these these biologists uh, will come out visit with the landowner, and you got the map. You can show the map there, yeah. kind of how we're broken up geographically. Uh, so you know, we had. So when you're looking at the north, you're talking about all of this: the right, northwest, right. north central. It looks like east central creeps up a little bit in there, but uh, it does. Yeah, it's, yeah. So north central there is is Calvin Wakefield. Uh, he's he lives here in Mountain Home. Uh, he, he covers probably most of this listening area or, or, or watching area. And then, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we have someone also there in northwest Arkansas, so yeah, uh, which is Cody Wyatt. So, um, so anyways, so, you know, we work with these landowners. Well, then as we're, as we're, you know, and it's not just a one-and-done deal. I mean, our biologists come back three, four, five times, however many times it takes to, 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 to get the project done. And so mm-hmm. what that turns into is, we have what we call, we started an awards banquet and to honor landowners who've went above and beyond uh, with excellence in the habitat that they brought back. Because, you know, they're investing a lot of time, a lot of money, you know, even though there's cost share programs and financial assistance, it's still a lot of time and money out of their own pocket. And so uh, one thing we started last year was something called the Natural State Landowner Conservation Awards. Okay. And it, and we and so this was our second uh, award uh, that we had uh, this I guess it was Wednesday night of last week so it was exactly about a week ago so yeah so anyways uh, as we'll see here in, in a second you can scroll down there kind of this is where everybody's broken down geographically some of our award winners we had one we also honor groups. Uh, and the North Central Arkansas Master Naturalist was a group uh, here locally that, that, that won an award uh, for, you know, conservation and, and that type of stuff they do. And then we also had, you know, uh, we have a deer club. Uh, Rock Creek Ranch there was uh, our deer club of the year. Okay. And so uh, for some of the habitat work that they had done. So, so uh, deer, deer Club Award, that uh, their main focus was... The deer population in their area and how they can manage their lands for it to be better for them right so we have a program called dmap which is deer management assistance program and that's a program where deer camps collect biological data for us they weigh okay. them they measure antlers uh they send us all the jaw bones we age the deer and so you know it's a it's a continuous program that cl- we got clubs that have been with us for 15 years you know mm-hmm. we've been aging their jaw bones and and then our biologists provide them back a report with management recommendations of you know what to do as far as how many how many does to harvest how many bucks to harvest that kind of stuff and that's so, excellent yeah and so these are for these are people who are you know generally that program most of those tracks are thousand acre tracks they're pretty good sized tracks where they can uh you know biologically it kind of takes around you know, around a thousand acres of a buck's home range where you're actually controlling, you could actually have enough acres where you're controlling that buck herd, you know. If you're, you know, you could be doing a great job, like I could be doing a great job my eight acres, but I'm yeah. I'm at the mercy of all my neighbors, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I can't control what what's happening, but on a thousand acres, you can con- theoretically kind of control. And then, of course, the bigger you got, you know, we have some clubs of 13,000 acres, you know. Yeah. They can really control what, what's happening on their property. So, mm-hmm. so anyways, uh, th- those deer clubs, we, we give out a deer club of the year award, uh, and so each year, and so that was the Rock Creek Ranch there that had won. So. Good for them. Very good. I guess we've got some uh, some videos that uh, of the banquet. We've right. Got some pictures too. Yeah. Let's let's show some of the pictures. I guess first. Uh, yeah. These were some of the award winners. Uh, you might recognize Tim Burley Tim, there. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, so we, so this is a unique event. It's a, it's a half stream, half. I didn't really explain it. It's half stream and half uh, wildlife. So, uh, we also give out some of uh, the uh, biologist awards. So this is one of our biologists, David Graves, who private lands biologist in over around Brinkley that won an award. Uh, 
And so, uh, you know, this this award is kind of unique in, you know, our stream team works on private lands also. They do. And so, yep. so we kind of combine them together. And so there's Eli Powers, who, who's a local uh, biologist here that won a Fisheries uh, Employee of the Year Award. So, oh, yeah, he's here in the Mountain Home area. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And so... Uh, you know it's it's a it's a neat event because you know we're honoring both stream and wildlife uh uh, landowners and and, you know and it was funny when we filmed these videos you know a lot of a lot of uh the stream people were still doing we're doing wildlife stuff too sure and a lot of and a lot of our our wildlife producers had streams and it was you know so it really is intertwined i mean so yeah uh, but, yeah, we've had uh, we've had Tim on and and Scooters talked about his land and managing the, where his uh, the river runs by it and trying mm-hmm. to keep the bank from collapsing in because he has a storm right. and it collapses in, but then it also will build up and yeah, mm-hmm. and you know he's uh, talked to you him. You never a know times. what you're going to get. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we got time, we could play that first uh, master. Let's now. go ahead and take a break real okay. quick, and then we'll come right. back with the videos. Okay, right. sounds we'll good. We'll be right back. Jim Brown Company keeps you cool when it's hot and warm when it's not. A trusted name in the mountain home community, Jim Brown Company provides timely heating and cooling installation and repairs. Our certified technicians incorporate new technology on every job to provide you with the most advanced services. At our metal fabrication shop, we handle projects big and small. We've created everything from commercial ducts to custom designs. I'd recommend Jim Brown Company to my friends and neighbors. The reason being they have high-tech equipment, their service techs are well qualified for the job that they do, and they also send me a report after all the work is done so I know exactly what my unit's doing. By visiting our showroom, you can learn all about our heating and cooling products. We'll educate you on your options and help you decide on the right solution. For total comfort at your home or business, choose Jim Brown Company. Quality service with a family name since 1964. Diatli Dental Care is a family-owned dental practice. Doctors Irvin and Christina Diatli grew up in the Twin Lakes area and are proud to serve the community. With modern treatment methods and state-of-the-art technology, they are dedicated to providing exemplary care to patients of all ages. Our compassionate team consistently receives training above and beyond the standard of care. We're changing the way you see dentistry. Come be a part of our dental family. Overhead Door, a garage door company that has been with your family from the beginning, through all the ups and downs of life. From the small repairs to making your vision a reality. Overhead Door, your trusted garage door expert since 1921. Be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door service. Call Overhead Door Company of North Arkansas today in Mountain Home. At Letty's Mexican Restaurant, we are here to keep you safe during these difficult times, as well as serve you the best Mexican food in the area. That's why we've installed a convenient pickup window for all your to-go and pickup orders, as well as a covered outdoor seating area. Give us a call at 870-435-2532 to order your next meal. And don't forget, Letty's also provides catering for small parties or big events. Experience the best in Mexican cuisine. Letty's in Gasville. If you're looking for... Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. We're visiting with Ted about uh, Arkansas Game and Fish's uh, Landowner Conservation Awards Banquet. And you've got a video that we can play. Yeah, so to set up this video is... uh, so, like I said, we, we mostly give out awards to individual landowners, but then we also have a couple of group awards. One mm-hmm. was that, that Deer Club award I mentioned. The other is just conservation groups, which are, these, these seem to be, they're made up of landowners themselves, but they're, but they're kind of banding together to, to do things for the greater good. So this is the North Central Arkansas Master Naturalist, and I guess we play that video. Sounds good. We were established in 2009 in this area, and 
in the following years have done a lot to educate people in the area about the environment. We're citizen scientists. One of our teams is Stream Team. Their emphasis is water quality and that team spends hours every month on various streams in our area. Right now we're monitoring 10 streams. They do water chemistry evaluation and also look at the macroinvertebrates, the little bugs in the water that tell them the quality of the water. I've been working with uh, the North Central Arkansas Master Naturalist since its inception 14 years ago. Me and Bob Verboon started this and they've been going strong ever since. They sample the streams, they sample Crooked Creek in at least 10 other sites across central Arkansas. They do a training every year um, to bring new people into the, into the group. Every year we have classes starting in January for our new members and one of those classes is Stream Team. You will find that the current members are always excited to get out there in the water. You will be in the water, hopefully standing up, and be allowed to see the improvement that you provide for our whole environment. At this facility, we have over 400 acres on site available for the public to use. Many people find this a hidden treasure. They don't realize that we are on a two and a half mile bend of Crooked Creek, a blue ribbon smallmouth stream, capable of producing some amazing fish, but not just smallmouth. We have largemouth, long ear sunfish, a couple of different kinds of catfish, and a whole host of smaller fish that all support that ecosystem. So the North Central Arkansas Master Naturalist was the first group that we ran through the program to assess fish passage barriers. We did that last year and they have gone out and measured and cataloged several fish passage barriers across the state. They also do water chemistry and macroinvertebrate sampling in over 10 locations in central Arkansas. This is all beneficial to us because we can keep track of the water quality in the streams in North Arkansas and we can take these fish passage barriers that are entered into the SARP database and we can use those to prioritize which fish passage barriers that we need to work on. As the stream team leader, I've been involved with this group since 2017 and stream team leader since 2017. I've been able to develop, train, educate, and work with a number of partners to further our cause, which is keeping our natural state natural, pure, and clean. Now, North Central Arkansas Master Naturalist were nominated for the Natural State Landowner Conservation Award because of all the good work they did do across Central Arkansas with their monitoring of multiple streams across the state as well as being the first group that we trained to do the rapid assessment for fish passage barriers and their information gets entered into the SARP database. The more information that they collect, the easier it helps us and the better we can do our jobs. So they've done a wonderful job over the last 14 years working and collecting all this data for us. North Central Arkansas Master Naturalist Group Stream Team, we do so much work monthly, year after year. And after 14 years, you would think we have seen and done it all, but each month is a new learning experience, finding new bugs, identifying problems and resolving these problems by partnering through Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. It is so wonderful to be recognized for the work we're doing for so many years that's impacting so many people who enjoy the natural state. And it's our mission, our pleasure, our job to bring people out into the outdoors and help them make that all-important connection between themselves and the outdoors. Because if you don't know about something, you don't care about something. If you don't care about something, you don't conserve it. That's our job. Very nice. That was very good. Yeah. That's excellent. See, this, I'm glad you brought that along because we don't know about such things until you tell us about it. Oh, yeah. and, uh, so many people are working to make sure our streams are clean and, and fun for everybody to use. Because I float the crooked. 
I try. Do I do too. Yeah, it's a, it's I, a great. I, I was hoping he didn't tell everybody about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want more people out there. No, I know, kidding. right? <laughs> and we all have our honey hole, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. And that is a good one. It I mean, is a good and one. And where's yours? No, <laughs> <laughs> I know how that works. The Delta. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, I like Kelly Slab down to the bridge. Oh yeah, that's yep. that's that's always one of the best. I, I like to take my daughter. Uh, you know, she's got a kayak and she's been kayaking probably since she was probably eight years old and that's that's a good short amount that's about all a, a you know a young kid yeah. probably wants you yeah know what I'm it's saying? exactly right <laughs> yeah uh, but that's really cool and they uh they uh were recognized during this program mm -hmm. and uh, you guys shot that video about what they do about uh testing the water and checking out all the little bugs in it you don't even think that the bugs is going to tell you something and they do Right, right. And, and there again, like I said, that's on the stream side, which is kind of a little bit out of my forte, but I, I, I thought I'd like to highlight them because they are also a, a local group, you know. So uh, I guess transition to our next one, you know, we'll kind of just talk a little bit about it. Uh, mm -hmm. So Michelle Furr is one of our private lands biologists, and she's down uh, kind of in the Washita's. And uh, she actually had two award winners this year. She had the De uh, Deer Club of the Year, and she had this uh, Mr. Katie that we're, that we're going to see here shortly. Uh, uh, and basically, so this gentleman uh, is had about 53 acres, and he just, I guess when Michelle first got there, it was just covered in cedar. I mean, it was just as much cedar on there. And if, if you don't know, you know, uh, red eastern cedar is invasive to the point here in the Ozarks because it you know without fire it just takes over I didn't know that yeah yeah and, yeah and so as biologists we hate cedar yeah. <laughs> you know so we're always trying to look for letters and want to remove cedar yeah uh, you know because uh, without fire cedar just takes over and you know you've all seen what people call cedar glades yeah well glades were never supposed to have that much cedar on them I mean glades are supposed to be rocky outcroppings they're supposed to be open yeah. they're supposed to be uh have wildflowers all over them well obviously you ever looked underneath a bunch of uh, you know in a, in a in a cedar glade there's nothing growing underneath there it's just bare bare needles so uh so anyways uh this was a project where this gentleman took 53 acres and a lot a lot of sweat equity and he did it himself so really uh, it's, it's a kind of a neat cut it deal. all down and out and cleaned it out yeah and, and i think you know he was also harvested some of them sold sure. it for yeah, which you, which you can do. So, uh, we got time for that one here. Or yeah, we can go ahead and play okay. it if you All want right. now. All right, yeah. let's go ahead and yeah. play it. Let's go ahead and play it. Be right back. Smaller acreage landowners in the state of Arkansas are really important in conservation. So, fragmentation, larger parcels, you know, 100 plus acres are being broken down into smaller parcels like we see uh, 40, 50 acres, you know, 20 acres. But all of these properties are important to conservation of wildlife in our state. And Jeff Katie's property is a testament to that. Jeff has 53 acres just west of Ozark, Arkansas, and he has been working diligently over many years, especially cutting down cedar trees. We purchased this property in 2007 because we wanted a place to come to and, our, and to have our kids and grandkids to come. We could hike and, and hunt. There was a, a lot of cedar trees and I cut actually thousands of cedar trees. First time Michelle Fur came here, we uh, went riding on our four wheelers and came back. And the first thing she said to me was, congratulations, you have more cedar trees here than any place I've ever been. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> His place had a uh, dense forest of cedar trees, um, the eastern red cedar, with no light getting to the understory. And he has taken on the task of removing thousands of logs over the last four years that I've known him. So he has increased light to the understory by doing this and has coupled that with prescribed fire and is seeing a change in habitat on his property. He's seeing a diversity in vegetation on the forest floor, more wildflowers, a diversity of uh, various grasses. And with that, seeing some turkey with poults and uh, butterflies, uh, various grassland birds. He has seen definitely an increase in diversity of wildlife across his property. My grandkids come out here and it was just really thick. You know, you couldn't get around a lot of vines and stuff. And 
I opened it up a little bit so that the grandkids could go and play. They love going down to the creek catching salamanders, crawdads, they catch ringneck snakes. My grandson, he started hunting a couple of years ago and he, he loves to come out and hunt. It is very hard to portray the effort that Jeff has put into this 53 acre property. I mean, imagine a dense cedar thicket and cutting those trees down one by one with a chainsaw, piling them up with a tractor, and then burning uh, brush piles every winter. It takes a lot of tenacity and work ethic and the love of the outdoors to complete the wildlife habitat transformation he's been able to do in the last four years. Jeff Katie deserves this award because he cut down 3,500 cedar tree logs in such a short time frame while taking care of his family and other things that happen in life and has been able to you know, manage the habitat on the property and have such a great mind for conservation. He really deserves this Natural State Conservation Landowner Award. With the help of Game and Fish Commission, I used to plant food plots, but I don't have to plant food plots anymore because it's it's just like a, a magnet for wildlife. It's a lot of hard work, but I, I love being outside and, and doing that kind of work, and you get to see the benefits of that. And I know it'll be a legacy that they'll get to enjoy for years to come. Welcome back to the morning show. That's that's impressive. Thirty five hundred logs and fifty three acres. That is <laughs> a, a lot, lot of, of work. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine just cutting down three or four trees. And a small. Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. So it uh, it stands to reason why it's so dense in there. Right. And nothing was getting to the forest floor. Yeah. And we have you know think about areas around Bull Shoals Lake. You know you see the hillsides. There's areas I guarantee you we have as much cedar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> around here, uh, that's just. You know, it's it's unfortunately it becomes unproductive land because the cedar encroaches so much that it, like I said, none of those wildflowers, those forbs, uh, grasses can even grow because it's just being taken out. So, uh, so that's one of the big practices that our biologists work with landowners to have cedar is where you, and basically the only way to get rid of it is to do what we call cut and drop, is where you come in and chainsaw, you cut, you pile it, and you burn, and you know. You, you have to kind of you know let it dry out for a year then 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 burn it well you know as you can imagine that's a pretty pretty big fire definitely you know? so a lot of times they, they need our assistance on the front end on that to kind of get them through that but then once that once that fire goes through you know you you kind of do the secondary burn that you come say a couple of years from now is not going to be as intense you know sure. what I'm uh and and then you just kind of manage it with fire to you know the more the, the more repetitive fire that's on that property uh you know kind of keeps that cedar in check yeah because you know it doesn't like fire so okay and if you don't it's going to come back if you don't it's going to come back yes yeah. and it's just you know going to take over so. yeah yeah so definitely so, so we have a little there's a little saying out uh in oklahoma they got a little bumper sticker it says be a leader kill a cedar we'll take uh, we'll take our last break and we'll come back with more from ted z at the arkansas game and fish commission if you're looking for something wonderful and delicious head on over to paradise cream for a homemade ice cream experience with over 20 flavors like german chocolate cake and sea salt caramel it's always homemade and delicious paradise cream has something for everyone and also carries dairy free and vegan ice cream options so rather you like it in a cup or in one of their homemade waffle cones you're in for a wonderful dessert experience located in mount home next to vermonta inn or at the harrison address across from pizza hut and castle rental let paradise cream cater your next event because you're on your way to paradise well, folks, have you ever been trout fishing before? Not since I was a little oh. kid. You'll do fine. Hey, hey, hey what, uh, what are you doing? Aren't you coming along? See you downriver. How do you start this motor? I've never been in a boat before. See you downriver. Well, folks, uh, have you sold a house before? Yeah, about 30 years ago. Yeah. Oh, well, you'll be okay then. You sure? Where are you, Where are you going? going? See you at the closing. Hey! hey. At the closing. We, we should call, call the Z-Team. Z -team. 
Hi, Brett, Fritz, and Paisley here at Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road. Mower Warehouse has the largest selection of Ferris zero-turn mowers in stock. Zero percent financing available. Mower Warehouse also services all brands of mowers. We offer free delivery. Come see us for all your mower needs. That's Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road, where your business is appreciated. Going on now through June, up to $500 off select mowers at Mower Warehouse, with no money down and payments as low as $89 per month. Have you ever noticed every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detail services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care of Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. Visiting with Ted Z of Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. He is a private land supervisor here in north central Arkansas, across the north. And uh, you guys do a lot of good work working with private lands uh, to make sure that the wildlife have a great habitat to live in. That's right. As we saw in that video there, 3,500 cedar logs that old boy has cut out so far, I <laughs> How guess. How many chainsaws do you think he went through? Uh, he went through <laughs> quite a few. Definitely <laughs> chains for sure. Well, like he said, he's bringing wildlife on there now without planting any food right you know plots or anything like that that's pretty cool right and, and that's what we kind of tell people is you know we'll have hunting clubs or groups of people that'll brag about well i spent fifteen thousand dollars on high protein deer pellets or something I mean, imagine if you took that fifteen thousand dollars and you put it into habitat work like that or thinning and burning and that kind of stuff i mean that's permanent i mean instead of spending that every year yeah I mean, this is permanent, you know, that grows naturally. Yeah. Comes the, up. The you know. money you're going to save. Right. And right. the wildlife you're going to see because right. of it. And so that's kind of, you know, there's been a big push in the last couple of years to promote natives, you know, you know, you know, promote native, you know, native wildflowers, native grasses, that kind of stuff. Uh, and another little caveat to native grasses is they are very drought tolerant. I mean, we're in drought right now. Yeah. And you and if you drive around North Arkansas, you know, fescue fields are just dust. I mean, they're just burn up. Mm -hmm. But I could show you some native grasses on that uh, Fred Berry Nature Center there that uh, is planted in little blue stem, Indian grass, and, uh, and uh, uh, big blue stem that is still green as a gourd. Just thriving. And the reason yeah. it is is they have a huge root system. Those native grasses, their root system may be five to eight foot deep. Oh, wow. And so, I mean, it's like a tree, almost depth root system, whereas fescue might be, you know, a couple inches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so they need to. So they go, you know, that's why fescue in your brain in your yard just goes dormant this time of year. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But those, those, those native grasses, you know, still have a pretty big root system. That must be what I have in my backyard because it grows like wildfire. <laughs> it's amazing. It's still bright green. and Right. We just mowed a few days ago and it's already up. Yeah, 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 and you're like, man, I wish that would die. <laughs> I'm tired of mowing, right? <laughs> That's how I feel. I, I get tired of mowing. Sometimes. Definitely, especially with a push mower with as much. Yeah. <laughs> so, but but anyways, yeah. So you know, if, if there's any landers out there, uh, and we have people that cover statewide, so even if you're say mm -hmm. not in this go. area, uh, yeah, we'll show the map there. <clears throat> so a statewide uh, DMAP coordinator, Jeremy Brown right and uh, here you are north private land supervisor south private land supervisor bubba groves right uh, another is the statewide private land supervisor uh garrick duggar uh -huh. and this is on the agfc website <laughs> yep. so right anybody the, can go to it yeah the best way to get to it is is uh agfc.com forward slash habitat the word habitat and that'll get okay. you right to this page here uh so that's i think uh the, here's a, a main page yeah that, that's what it takes you to right there and so <clears throat> Uh, uh, I guess a couple click on that prescribed burn association right there uh -huh. and that's another little program we got going on in the in the state we have that map there we have a couple here in north central Arkansas we have the uh, uh, we got the north central Arkansas prescribed burn association which covers Baxter Marion and Boone mm -hmm. uh, and we have one in Izzard Fulton and Sharp and then we have another one in Searcy, uh, Searcy County and Stone in uh, uh, Van Buren County. So 
Uh, so what a what a prescribed burn association is is it's a group of landowners who work who work with each other uh, to burn each other's property. Yeah. So it's kind of like. Kind of like joining a volunteer fire department, so it's the other way around. Yeah, you know? yeah. you're burning. <laughs> you're burning instead of putting out fire. But but anyways, uh, they apply. Those groups get formed, and then they apply. That you can see that picture, of that trailer there, mm-hmm. Game and Fish and Quail Forever. We donate uh, that all that fire equipment so they can do it safely. You know, right. anything from the the protective clothing to the torches to hand rakes to water tanks, that kind of stuff, radios. So. Uh, Anyway, then we provide them training, and we provide them, uh, you know, we don't assistance just throw, too. Yeah, yeah we don't just throw them out there mm-hmm. by themselves. I mean, we're, we're the most of the time first two three years, our biologists are out there with the, with them on every burn. But eventually, uh, they start standing on their own, and mm-hmm. and the, and it's landers helping landers. So you always have some landers that have more experience, and they come and help that. There you, you go. Know. And so generally, most time it's a twenty-five dollar membership fee for to be in that prescribed burn association, and for that twenty-five dollars, you get twenty volunteers to come help you the that's, day you're burned, plus that trailer. Yeah, I mean you that's can't probably the best. That. That's the best deal <laughs> out and you, there. And you get the experience of going out and helping them and learning mm-hmm. and yeah. realizing how to do, you want right. to do it on your property. Right. So yeah, the first yeah, ten it's, times it's go benefit. help your neighbor burn yeah. their place. You know, mm-hmm. you know, burn burn their place down. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't <laughs> want to burn without being trained and feel like I'm comfortable in doing it. So oh, right, right. being able to go hands-on and help and then have some experienced people when it's time to do yours, it's, yeah. it's a no-brainer. It's a, yeah, it's a no-brainer. So uh, that's something new. It's been only been probably the last two years, and uh, it's kind of Ozark-heavy. You know, we've added some South Arkansas ones and some Central Arkansas ones there. But, uh, you know, uh, so if you if, if people are interested you know uh i think i think if you click on that so where it says map or or, or it, yeah, yeah I, I think in each spot it'll, yeah there you yeah. go there's email addresses for each one of those you can email those presidents and say hey i'd like to join um you know and they'll get you involved and get you set up it may even come out and take a look at what you got that's right because you know come up with a plan yeah that's right and do you usually do that during certain times of the year yeah, there's it's, two main seasons. We got what's called growing season burns, which is what we're doing right now. We just did a burn. Uh, uh, me and Calvin did a burn, I guess, over in Marin County on Tuesday, and it was hot. Let me tell you. Right. I mean, it's growing season burns are hot. I mean, it, normally you, and so when you do it this time of year, you're trying to kill things. Like this was fields. This was sprayed fields. Just you know that of, of grass and so you're generally not burning in the woods at that time of year you know you're you're trying to burn like think of a of a field that has a bunch of woody saplings in yes. there and, you, and instead of using herbicide to kill those out you run a fire through it this time of year and you'll kill it you'll, out you'll kill it out yeah and so and so anyways uh so that, that was a this was a uh a field that the landowner had sprayed to get ready to prepare to plant it in those wildflowers and native grass and so he needed to to burn it off so we came out there we did that and it was about a uh, 10 acre field and Mm -hmm. and it went up pretty fast right so uh and then the other time period which is probably the majority of what we do is what we call dormant season and that would be anywhere some from say late november all the way to about the the green up in april yeah that's when you're burning leaf litter in woods and that kind of that's your more traditional sure uh burn burn season so uh, very good but but anyways all right well, we got about a minute left. We appreciate you coming on, as always, and uh, bringing those videos. That was good to see. And great to recognize those people that have done so much, you know, on their private lands uh, to make it better for the wildlife management of our area. I mean, it's all for the better of, of everybody. That's even, right. Even the animals. That's right. So. Uh, and hopefully this drives people to want to do that to their property. Exactly. And, yeah, and we're most look- people are looking for wildlife and stuff like that. You don't have to spend all that money to plant all them food crops each year <laughs> yeah. and all this stuff just br- kind of bring it back to natural yeah. burn some off let some natural grasses come up and yeah we're looking cool. for the next winter <laughs> the landowner winter you know that that's, that's can do some good conservation so. most definitely thank you for coming on always a pleasure mm-hmm. thank you all for watching you have a great day we hope that uh, you if you have to work outside that you, you get in the shade every once in a while hydrate real well and just be safe out there. It's going to be hot for the next few days. It is. Yes, Tomorrow sir. we got This Week in Real Estate. Mm-hmm. And then Bob Reckonwald will be here with Friday Sports. So. Very good. You yeah. all have a great day.